Hello, it's Doris with Aldi Books, and I'm just going to keep this short and sweet. This is the Book Naturalist Book Club announcement video for 2024. I've made a zine. Yes, I have. So I'm living in China, so I don't have access to physical books very easily. I do have access to all of these books digitally. I checked, so... I'm going to present, drum roll, the 2024 reading list for the Book Naturalist Book Club. Oh my gosh. So I think that this is our fifth year doing this. I think, I think so. So my friend Heidi from My Reading Life and I, we love nature. We love nature writing and we love diverse diverse authors. So we came up with this idea to have a book naturalist book club focused on nature writing and we really work hard to make it the intersection of diverse authors as well and um, this year I am just so freaking excited about this list. It is amazing, amazing. So, yeah, I'm going to link Heidi's video below because she is really good, really good at researching the books and authors. I'm really good at organizing the list. So, I've organized the list with her help and I'm going to lead you to her to uh, get the details. So, Fast and Furious here. Book Naturalist Book Club 2024 reading list. January. Oh my goodness. The Comfort of Crows, A Backyard Year by Margaret Wrinkle. If you have not read Late Migrations, which is her previous essay collection, you need to check it out. Stat. But we will be reading her new one. This came out this year. Um... A Howling Love Letter to the World. That is what Ann Patchett has to say about it. Yeah. And then in February, we have two picks for the month of February. Uh, a Darker Wilderness, Black Nature Writings from Soil to Stars. So this was edited by Aaron Sharkey. And this is the most important anthology of this decade by Keith, Keith Lehman. If you haven't read his book, oh, so good, so good. This list is amazing. So I believe I'm like 99% sure, 99.9% .9 sure this is a milkweed edition, which is one of my go-tos for book naturalist picks each year. And then we're pairing that with Black Faces, White Spaces, Reimagining the Relationship of African Americans to the Great Outdoors by Carolyn Finney. So this one looks at um, how African Americans feel comfortable or not in our wild spaces, um, focused in the U.S., but, you know, I'm sure it pertains to different regions as well. And then this one is focused on nature writing from black authors. So I think this is going to be a really, really brilliant, brilliant pairing. Okay. So then March, um, March is my birthday month. So I'm treating myself to the new Lauren Groff. Finally, <laughs> the vaster wilds. So this one is a novel. Um, we have been sprinkling in novels the last year or two and really enjoying it. So I think this is going to be just fabulous. I really love Lauren Groff. Um, if you haven't read her uh, short story collection, Florida, highly recommend, uh, especially if you love Florida, which is my home state. Uh, and then April, we have Understory, A Life with Trees by Inga Simpson. I have had this on the back burner for Aussie April for a couple years now, ever since um, Natalie, Natalie Marie uh, recommended it. So looking forward to that one as well. 
And then this is one that Heidi has found, the Secure, Sakura Obsession, The Incredible Story of the Plant Hunters Who Saved Japan's Cherry Blossoms by Naoko Abe. So that looks just fabulous. And also like the covers, that's why I had to make this gorgeous little zine because these covers for all these books are just uh, pulling me in. Yes. Uh, and then June, we have a couple picks for June. So the first one is How Far the Light Reaches, um, A Life in 10 Sea Creatures by Sabrina Embler. And uh, another fabulous author, like these are all blurred by great authors. Uh, not all of them, but quite a few. Miraculous and Transcendental, and that's by Ed Young. Love me some Ed Young, okay? So this one is perfect for Pride Month, and then this one for Caribbean. So this is The Mermaid of Black Conch, or if you are a native Floridian, uh, The Mermaid of Black Conch. We say conch in Florida. I don't know if that's just like in all of the South, but that's how we say it. Uh, this is A Unique Talent by Bernardine Evaristo. Gave us that blurb. Uh, but this is written by Monique Rafi. And this is a novella. So nice little novella there. And then Hot Off the Press, Bite by Bite, Nourishments and Jamborees by Amy Nazuka Matadal. So this is, you know, World of Wonders, which we featured two or three years ago, which was amazing. So that one focused on the animal world. This one, I believe, will focus on the plant world. And then July, this, this comes out in May of next year, by the way. So it really will be hot off the press when we read it. Uh, also in July, we're pairing that with Soil. The Story of a Black Mother's Garden by Camille T. Dungy. And this one is blurbed by Ross Gay, who says a brilliant and beautiful memoir of Dungy's deepening relationship with the earth. So I think this will be a really nice pairing as well um, because like working the soil and then uh, reaping the benefits of that work. So yes. And then August, we have The Last Wild Horses by Maja Lund. Um, I heard about this one from Britta's channel, Britta Bowler, and I didn't realize that this was part of like a trilogy, which I read uh, The History of Bees uh, several years ago and really enjoyed this. Uh, this one works well for women in translation. And then for Hispanic Heritage, we have The Kissing Bug, the true story of a family, an insect, and a nation's neglect of a deadly disease by Daisy Hernandez. Uh, and this one is blurred by Amy Stewart, who says it is an absolutely essential perspective on global migration, poverty, and pandemics. Uh, and pairing that with a poetry collection, and this one is also from Milkweed Editions. This is You Are Here, Poetry in the Natural World, edited and introduced by Ada Limon, who is the 24th Poet Laureate of the United States. Gorgeous. Okay, October. This one I found on Instagram. Uh, the Forgotten Bot Botanist. Sarah Plummer Lemon's Life of Science and Art by Wynn Brown. I really love reading about naturalists uh, for Victober. That really works for me. So I think that'll be neat. And then another one that Heidi has found for us. This is Fresh Banana Leaves, Healing Indigenous Landscapes Through Indigenous Science by Jessica Hernandez, PhD. And this one says a must read for anyone interested in indigenous environmental perspectives by Emil Kime. And last but not least, just last because December, hello. We're going to read A History of Wild Places by Shay Earnshaw. This is a twisting, engrossing delight. What a wonderful rabbit hole to fall down. 
Erica Swiler blurb that as well. So this year we're reading a mystery for December in the Book Naturals Book Club because Cloak and Dagger Christmas, which apparently isn't happening uh, this year, but we're just going to keep going with it because, you know, it's kind of fun to end off December with a cozy or not so cozy mystery. I don't know. So anyway, that is the Book Naturalist Book Club for 2024. I think it's just going to be a brilliant year. These covers are just, I'm excited. I'm excited about all of these books. So I will leave the list down below and do join us uh, for all of the months or just the ones that interest you. Um, these mostly are timed with events that go on throughout BookTube. So it'll give you ideas for how to participate. And yeah, I'll link Heidi below as well. And see you soon with another video soon. Who says that? Peru's project. Anyway, <laughs> thanks so much for watching. Bye.